So the first filter we're going to add is the ability to search by the title's likeness. So we're going to add a text box right up here that will allow us to type something in. Since we're just working with basic forms and the page will need to do a full refresh, we'll add in a submit button here as well. Let's hide our browser away. So let's get our form added. Our method here is going to be get so that whenever we submit this form, it just adds in the fields and their values as query strings for us. Then we'll have our action. We'll do route movies.index to point that to the same page that we're presently on. Since this will be a get, we should not need our CSRF field. That's just for four methods that are posting data up, whereas this get will be adding to the query string. So that just leaves us with needing our inputs. So we'll do a div class, let's flex, and maybe add a gap of three. And then we just need our form input component to add in our input. We'll add in a label. Let's call this our title search. We'll have the name for the input, just be search. And then the type for the input we'll have as search as well. All right, once we have that, let's add our button in. So we'll do add button. The type for the button will be submit so that whenever we click on it, it auto submits our form. We'll call the button text search and let's add that button. Let's also do items baseline there because we have a label here, but our button won't. So presently with how we have this, if we submit this form, it should almost just redirect us back to the page that we're currently on. Oh, I guess we need to do end. Let's hide that away real quick and switch that from items baseline to items at end. Okay, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Do need some spacing, but let's give this a test first. So if we type something out, like maybe angry, I see right down there in the first one, hit search here. We can see that it adds in our search equals angry within our query string. And it essentially just refreshed our page because we're not actually doing anything with the queried results. So we do know that at least our form's working and it's behaving as we intend, which leaves us with the next thing that we need to do, taking care of that search equals angry to actually filter down our movies to just those that contain angry within the title. So let's go ahead and hide our browser away. While we're thinking about it, let's add a padding top of maybe four to our div there. And then let's jump into our movies controller where we're now going to need our request so that we can grab that query string information. So we'll do const QS for query string equals request.qs, which will give us back a record where the key is the query string key and the value is the query string value. So for this, we can use a utility that's on the model query builder called if that allows us to pass in a condition that resolves back in either a truthy or falsy value. And then we can provide in up to two callback methods. The first one's going to be the truthy condition handler. So if the condition that we provide in comes back truthy, it will move forward forward with that first callback function that we provide in. And if the condition that we provide in is falsy, it will skip the first one, not execute it and jump straight to executing just the second one, which is the falsy condition callback. So let's put this into practice. So if we have a query string dot search field, we don't really want to do anything. If this is falsy, we just want to apply the search value to the query that we have if it's truthy. So for that, we'll do query. And this provides us the exact same query builder that we're working with outside of this if method. So we could do query dot where I like to do a case insensitive search. The title is like our QS dot search value. And then if we wanted to do something, if that were falsy, we could do a comma there and do the exact same thing with another query builder, just like we are with our truthy value. And that in turn works just like an if. So if QS dot search, then do something else, do something else where this is the first callback and the else is the second. Okay. And then since this is a likeness search, we're going to want percent signs on both sides of the search field that we're actually adding in. So we'll add back ticks around our search here, inject our search value into the value and add a percent sign on both the start and the end. So with that if in place now, if we jump back into our browser, we already have a query string value here from our previous search submission searching for angry. So if we give this a refresh, we should see just movies that have angry within the title, which appears to just be one. If we expand this a little bit to just movies with one in a title, hit enter there to submit that, we get back a number of different movies, each containing one in some way or fashion in the title. Now we need to populate that one or whatever our search value is back into our title search. So let's hide this away once more. And there's a few different ways that we could actually do this. So we can jump straight into our index page and set the value here to request.qs.search, just like so. And that should grab the value off of the query string if we have one, provided in as the value and the way that we have our components set up there. If the query string doesn't have a value for search and that comes back as undefined, then it will just default to an empty string. But we can see here, we jump back into our browser, it set our value to one. If we switch this back to angry, it's now angry, so it's populating there okay. And if we get rid of it altogether, it's defaulting to an empty string. I do wanna take a note on one alternative way that you could write that query. So within our movies controller here, the query builder doesn't actually execute until you await it. Meaning we could get rid of this await, call this our movies query, and let's just comment out our if statement for right now. If we take a look at the return type now for our movies query, 
it's now of type model query builder contract type of our movie model movie model meaning if we add in a couple lines here we can now do movies query dot and expand whatever we need to off of it so we could do an actual if statement searching for query string search and if we have a value, then we could do movies query dot where I like title. And then I'm just going to come up here, copy that value real quick and paste that in place. Now we still haven't awaited our actual query, so we haven't executed it yet. Meaning we can now do const movies equals await movies query. And now we have executed that query and we'll get back our movie results within our movies. So if we give that a save, let's jump back into our browser, give it a quick refresh, comes back with everything as expected, but we don't have a filter applied. Let's go ahead and apply our filter. So we'll just search for one here, give that run and there we go you can see it applied successfully and we now only get back movies with one in the title in some fashion type in angry and it will do the exact same so it's working the exact same as it was while we were just using that direct if statement so if you happen to have more complex filters that you need to apply in this is a perfect option for you in our case our filters are rather straightforward so we can go ahead and just step back a couple of steps and apply the if directly into our query so that we have it just within this one statement here as for alternative ways that we can populate the actual default value for our form fields well we're already grabbing the query string here so we could just provide that directly into the page state so that we don't have to call that method every single time that we want to populate a value. And we could call that something like our filters. So we can jump now into our index page. Instead of doing request.querystring, we can do filters.search. And that should behave the exact same as it was before. It's just now that query strings coming directly from our route handler. Query string values are also available via the input on the request. It considers those an input type. So we could use our request once more and use the input method to grab just the search input from the query string. If we give that a save, jump back into our browser, did a refresh already, but we could do once more for sanity's sake, and it's still populating there at A-OK. -okay. Either one of those works just fine. I think for now, we'll go ahead and keep with just the filters.search approach, providing so that if we need to normalize this in any way, we have the ability to do that directly from our route handler.